every six seconds that there is a death from a hospital-acquired infection. I'm going to discuss the importance of nurses' hand hygiene in stopping the spread of these infections. I'm speaking on nursing because I'm a nurse tech at Denton Regional Medical Center, and I plan on going to nursing school. MRSA and C. diff are two of the most common hospital-acquired infections, and we're going to begin with looking at MRSA. MRSA is transmitted through direct contact through either a person with an active infection or a person who is asymptomatic and who is colonized with the bacteria. These people are put on contact precautions, which is just a heads up to any visitors or medical personnel that this person um, does have MRSA on them and just to, um, we put this sign on the door for contact isolation, and anybody who enters a room has to wear um, a gown, you're covered, and then gloves and a mask. This helps keep any bacteria that's on the patient or any of the surfaces in their room from getting on you and you taking it on to the next patient. In addition to MRSA, C. diff is also a prevalent hospital-acquired infection. C. diff is transmitted also through direct contact. It is the the number one way that it is transmitted is through contaminated hands of healthcare workers. Um, it's the same from MRSA, from either a person with an active infection or who is just colonized with the bacteria, and they do not show any signs or symptoms. These people, as well, are put on contact isolation. You have to gown up and glove up and. Uh, wear the mask when you go in there. Now I think you can understand the importance of good hand hygiene for nurses. It can help prevent MRSA, C. diff, and other deadly infections. I'd like to close with a quote from Emily Gibran, a nurse that I interviewed from Denton Regional. When asked what could happen if you do not wash your hands between patients, she simply stated people could die.